I always love it when I read an article about a private parking company that has had their backside handed to them in a court of law. I wish it would happen more often and I wish they would crawl back under the rock from whence they came. Well, this story that I'm going to tell you now is a little bit of an unusual one, but still relevant. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad, not too bad. Let me know how you are in the comments. Everything's all right with your world. Well, this is the last video of the day, so uh, I hope you find this information useful, particularly if you live in Wales. This is the uh, this is the thing. I've been to Wales. Uh, last time I went to Wales, I went to Newport. One thing that struck me, apparently, as soon as you cross over the bridge, all the road signs are in Welsh, with English on them as well, effectively bilingual. I thought, oh, blimey, you know, I've, I've, I'd not seen that kind of thing before, uh, and I've been to Wales a couple of times now, and I'm obviously used to it. Well, there's somebody that went and parked in a car park in Wales, and I'll leave a link in the description so you can read the full story. And what actually happened, they ended up with a fine off of a private parking firm who managed the car park. 60 quid and the person turned around and said well i don't want to pay it until you provide me the information on the fine in welsh and they refused they said we don't have to so the person dug their heels in and uh, uh you know the fine got up to a hundred and then 160 pound and then all of a sudden it ends up in a court of law uh this individual was re actually represented in court by uh, their father, who's a member of the Welsh language campaign group called something I can't even pronounce. Have a look in the description. And the whole thing was that sufficient notices weren't given under the Protection of Freedom Act 2012. And it got thrown out, case one, therefore in my mind sets a precedent. And the judge actually agreed that all signs should be bilingual, Welsh and English, all throughout the place, any car parks, anything like that. And, uh, you know, it was one. I wish more cases came out like this where these private parking companies were held to account, not only in this case, but others as well. There's a long, long list of them all over the place. Anyway, I'm off. I hope you're all okay. Thank you very much for listening today. Thank you for the support as always. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you still are if you've been here a while. Like the video, spread it around. I'll see you tomorrow. Toodaloo.